if you make it on the public wall, you're there for a microsecond. Right. It's very fast moving. And and that's what makes it the challenge of being visible is that everything is so fast moving. And it's like the second, you know, you look at the Twitter wall for today. Oh, yeah. Something you post, by, it's like, you know, it's just gone. And it's like, so how do you figure out how to get yours noticed? Yep. What questions do you have? How do you get yours noticed? <laughs> how do you get them noticed? Um, well, you asked it first, so I thought, okay, let's finish that one. I don't know, because I, it's kind of funny because... Like <laughs> good stuff? When she asked me to, to come talk on the panel, she was like, how to be visible? And I'm like, I'm not visible. <laughs> but you are! <laughs> um, I don't even think about it. I, I, it's, I don't think about it. I just do what I do, because I enjoy doing it, and I want, you know, if anyone sees great, if they well, don't... Are you scheduled, or do you just do it as you think of it? Oh. Uh, yeah, it's both. Like I said, with the, with the KWS ethic help. I'm the one in there, so I make sure to interact. On my personal one, I don't really schedule many, many things. It, it's mostly just me. But I'm also a complete addict, so it's like I'm, you know. Didn't you notice we're both doing this every once in a while? I'm still. Well, I'm watching to make sure nobody needs anything. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Carol just tweeted that she's new all, but oh, good. Wait, that's someone else who's in the now. But she'll be here. <laughs> you know, I, uh, that brings up another point. I wouldn't worry about it so much. The followers will come to you if your content's good. So what about like things like Friday Follow, Writers Wednesday, that, that kind of stuff, giving shout out to it's, group of people? I'm very selective on those things. I don't do a lot of Follow Fridays just because, number one, you really get, it just gets overdone and you're just like, okay, I'm not going to sit here and look through every single account. Because I have to look at an account. I just don't automatically follow people. I want to see, well, who is this person? Would it pertain to me at all? And that's another thing a lot of people don't do with Follow Friday. They just say, follow this, this, this. They don't tell you why. I would like to know, like, here are my favorite political peers. Okay. Or like, great, great authors. Yeah, yeah, these are my authors that, they're my favorite, I, my favorite podcasters. I do generally do Follow Friday, but, it, and it's well known to the people who, I, who, who follow me, my Follow Friday is the people I've talked with that week. Mm -hmm. oh, Oh, that's, that's, you can tell when when you show up, as you look back the last few days, you've been in there. I actually have a, there's a tool called, but from Congo Labs, that's a, that's, if you just search for follower, follow oh, Friday Congo, I think it's going to bring it up, something like that. I know all the things. Well, don't worry, guys. It's, it's the guy, the guy who does it also does Twilk, which is Twitter backgrounds that are made out of your followers. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so I do do follow Fridays. However, I will say straight up that I have not done them for the last month. Because when I do follow Friday, I get more followers. And right now Twitter won't let me follow anybody. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to fix it before oh, this weekend. Twitter. Why? Are you I'm way out of My ratio is um, at about 87%. And they agree, the, the, their first, the first two problem reports, they said that was their answer, you're just at the ratio. I said, no, I'm not at the ratio. I'm unfollowing people, I'm getting new followers at the rate of 30 a week. I still can't follow anyone. Yeah. And they can't find the bug. Um, I follow... How many followers do you have? I have four, about 4,200 followers and I follow 4,900. Um, but I, I do have a bunch of people there that I shouldn't be following anymore. Yeah, that's hard. You start getting too many followers, it gets harder to clean up your account. It gets harder to do that and get many. But another thing about Follow Flat Friday is the one thing that will make me probably unfollow you and not want to is if you, the next 10 tweets are every one of your followers. And I've seen that. Yes. Oh, wow. If somebody yeah, follows that, yeah. if, if someone follows Friday, if you follow Friday somebody or somebody follows says you, thank them. Yes. Don't retweet that they followed you. That's not the idea. The idea is to thank them and then go on. Yeah. My that's numbers. The interaction. I am following 4,875. Yeah, and I'm checking that. Got 4,400 fo 4, followers. Uh, yeah, I don't even keep track of that. I, I don't even follow them. Yeah, it, it, the, the bottom line is just in how you want to use it. You need to be aware. It, you have to have a certain awareness. You can't what? <laughs> One of my uh, accounts with 7,000 followers is uh, unfollowing. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, and you gotta realize, of my 4,400, close to 200 of those are people that yeah. joined. I can't follow back. Yeah. So. And that's where lists come in too. Lists yeah. are great for that because that's why I separate everything out. And I don't know if you guys know this, but with a list, 
you don't have to follow somebody back. You can just put them in your list. You all know that? Okay, good. Yeah. That was a wonderful discovery because I was like, I don't want to follow. <laughs> I really don't. I, I might want to see their content, but if I can put them in a list, if I can segregate the group, we're good. <laughs> so, so we were talking about mindless fluff and he's Yes, he's in here now. Yes. This gentleman is mindless fluff. Yeah. Mindless fluff, do you tweet? Um, sometimes. Yeah, he's very, it's been long very time. rare. Mostly you get mentions from her. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's part of the reason I made him do it. Um, well, because it's really hard. I didn't want to mention him by name when I'm talking about things that he's doing or things that we're eating. The big things to follow Bruce were Bruce Cooks. Mm. And Bruce Cook's nice. <laughs> what do you guys use Twitter for? See, I'm not using Twitter in any form of uh, social means. I'm using it just for news. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to, this year, at least start up a new podcast it's called Speed Limitless. It's all about cars and uh, car culture. Mm -hmm. I'm only following all these big car companies on Twitter. I'm not posting anything. I'm not really using that at all. I'm just using it to get news to, you know, find out things to talk about, and then I'm done with it. I mean, because I used to use Twitter, uh, and I just, I didn't like it. I could never yeah. get into it. It's just not something for me. Um, so, like, all these list things, I, when I stopped using Twitter the first time, none of that was there. It was yeah. pretty bare-bones Twitter. Yeah. Uh, so, that's but, all I use it for now. But the ideas aren't just on Twitter, because I'm not just on Twitter. I'm on yeah. Twitter, I'm on Facebook. Have you looked at Quora? No. Quora. Q-U-O-R-A. Quora. Q-U-O-R-A. Yep. They are a Q&A community. How did you miss Quora? I don't know. How am I even online? <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're a big, huge Q&A community, but they're, they're done in a newer fashion than the old ones. And you, get, you can ask questions, you can answer questions, but they're looking for people in various categories all the time. And that might be one of the places you could get more visibility. One of the things about being visible is if you have things you are interested in, the more you talk about those things, the more people will see. That doesn't mean only talk one thing. I talk social media, I talk podcast, I talk OneNote, I talk PowerPoint, I talk cooking. How many times a day? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Actually, I tweet more than you do. You tweet a lot more than I do. I, I go between 5 and 10 a day right now because I'm not... Okay, the two weeks before the podcast, <laughs> I'm doing lots. But the rest of the day, I'm on it most of the time I've been open and I respond to people. And so some of those don't count in my tweet counts. I will respond to a lot more people than I will talk to. Then I will, then I will start That's conversation. Good. It, it's good, you know, sometimes people want to know that you're paying attention to. Yep. And, you know, if you like that person and you like following them, it's good to just let them know. It doesn't take that much. No. You know, to, they say something, it's like, oh, yeah, you know. But there are times. the interaction, then they know you're there. Yeah. There have been times where I've tweeted as many as 50 or 60 times a day. That's like my average. Yeah. <laughs> I probably do five or six an hour. Yeah. Today, but I think I'm going to be crazy. Yeah. But see, I'm running around today. They'll all be tweeting. I don't dare because my phone will die. <laughs> <laughs> I bought my truck. I did, too. I bought three spare ones. Like taken to Twitter like 